Hi everyone. Look who's on my lap. Can you see? Oh, hi Momo. <laughs> She's making piggy noises. <laughs> she often does this. Okay. Right. I want to catch up because I haven't filmed a video in a while. Uh, I mean, not for this channel. I did film a video for my Dutch channel uh, about a knitting book launch, which was this book, Lace, by Alexa Boonstra. And by Livre de Louise, that's the um, publisher, um, but it's in Dutch only right now, so I, um, I published that on the Dutch channel, um, but I haven't uh, created a video in a while for my regular channel, I think the last one was Dying with Bodleia flowers, I don't know, it was quite a while ago. Um, and now, I have so many things to catch you up on, but I'm just going to talk about my current project first. Uh, or maybe that's the only thing I'm going to talk about in this video, I don't know yet. I am knitting a statement sweater. Um, because I am crazy? Um, <laughs> I need to finish this in three weeks. And I mean, to be fair, I started this last night at about 10 o'clock and I've already knit quite a bit. This doesn't look like much right now because they're all rolled up. I'll spread them out later for you. Uh, but, oh, this panel is going to be so cute. Um, oops, I lost one stitch. There you go. Um, so you can see green background and then four brown stripes. Right, those four brown stripes are gonna be feet! <laughs> I'm going to be knitting a little sheep panel, and for the actual sheep, I'm going to be using my very first hand spun yarn, which looks like this. Uh, yes, very professional, amazing, never been done before. It's uh, like, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, I mean, I still love it. I thought it would make for a really um, cute um, sheepy fabric uh, with kind of lumps and bumps in there. So I thought it would be appropriate. So why am I knitting this statement sweater? So, um, oh, Momo's really laying down on my lap. So cute. Oh, Momochi. Okay, okay, while well, I've got you here, here's my yarn basket that I am using for this sweater. Okay, I am going to go to Dutch Design Week in a couple of weeks. Um, it's called Dutch Design Week because it's from October 22nd to October 30th. I will only be there for one day, October 24th. Um, and I'm going as a member of the press. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, really <laughs> impressed with myself for that. I mean, honestly, it just means that I got a free ticket because I'm a social media influencer. But I'm really excited about it. Uh, also because there are going to be a lot of people there. A lot of companies that um, you know Dutch Design Week it's about innovation uh, of course uh, lots of designs that are focused on the future there are going to be lots of like art students uh, it's you know it has everything IT architecture um, you know probably like um, 
I don't even know the English words for Skykunde. Um, chemistry, like, you know, stuff like you, 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 stuff that you really have to study a long time for. But, um, I mean, you can study a long time for everything. Okay, anyway. Uh, there's also, they, they are also having an exhibition on arts and textiles and uh, circular design, which I think means like biodegradable or that something is reusable. Um, so, you know, sustainable in a way. And I'm always very, very interested in sustainable knits. Um, I, I mean, everything sustainable, really. Um, but mostly sustainable knits. Um, and right now on my Patreon page, I'm also delving into, you know, how can we make our craft more sustainable? Um, how can you be more aware of the things that you're making and whether you will actually wear those or use them? Um, and, you know, taking into account, does this color suit me? Um, do I find this fabric nice enough to wear? Um, I'm talking about, you know, there's there's a lot of pressure actually on knitters and crocheters that if you're experienced then you gotta work with 100% natural fibers, 100% wool, whatever, uh, which I really like, but I do also acknowledge that um, lots of people have sensory issues. I mean, I'm autistic and I don't have a lot of sensory issues. Um, at least not with wearing clothes, except for those clothing tags with, like, plastic corners to it, like, who invented that? But, um, uh, I, I know that a lot of people got sensory issues, so, uh, you know, if wearing acrylic is, uh, very soft, and if, if that is... Um, better for you then you know I'm, I'm not going to uh, say to people that they only should work with wool but um, I am really excited about wool and, uh, and about changing the image because not all wool is scratchy um, wool is such an amazing fiber um, uh, I, I read an article uh, recently about if you have wool bedding and wool filled cushions that it can help you sleep um, better. Uh, I'm, I, <laughs> I uh, haven't really memorized the terms that they uh, use. They, they used uh, more scientific words for that. Um, wool is um, I don't know if the word is fire resistant but it's uh, fire, like it's, um, it burns slower, so it's actually really safe um, to have in a fire because it doesn't catch fire rapidly and then spread onto other things. And you know, there are many, many more uh, amazing properties about wool. And at the same time, you know, wool is this amazing fabric, uh, this amazing fiber. And then on the other hand, synthetics are often made of uh, oil. Um, and I don't know if you've seen that um, commercial by, I think it was Campaign for Wool. Um, and it's just, you know, disgusting um, how much oil is used. And, you know, sometimes when we think of oil, we think of like translucent oil or like face oil, baby oil, sunflower oil. No, like that really like black oil that's like, I don't know, like out of a pirate movie when someone is smeared with oil and then feathers and yeah. Um, yeah, so really, um, impactful commercial, um, and yeah, on, on Dutch Design Week there are also going to be some people who, uh, want to get wool back onto the market, who want to change the image of wool, and I'm really interested in that, um, but yeah, because, so I signed up for to be a 
journalist at uh, Dutch Design Week. I signed up for that yesterday and then yesterday evening I suddenly got the panic like what am I gonna wear? I need to wear something with a statement and of course I don't need to but I really like that and so I am knitting a statement sweater um, I will be going over the process on my Patreon channel, uh, on my Patreon page. It's kind of like my paid YouTube. Um, for five euros a month, you, you get lots of exclusive tutorial videos and also fun videos like this. So I designed the center panel first. Um, yeah, so the sweater is going to be knit up of, or like sewn, uh, sewn up out of several different panels and yeah <laughs> uh, I'm going into the construction way more detailed on my patreon page so this I, I wanted to have this on the center yes I knit and because I think that's fun and at the same time I'm also able to play with color a little bit because th this is yellow and purple and those are uh, colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. I think those are contrasting colors. Uh, some stripes, some color work, um, more color work here, and uh, I'm using mostly 100% wool, and I'm using lots of Dutch wools as well, which is very exciting. So these will be some panels. <laughs> I'll promise to show you when it's done. And now I'm knitting the third front panel. And I'm thinking for the back to just knit one, one big panel. Um, and, oh yeah, I have another fun block here. Uh, I want to spread it out. Wool is the future. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this vlog. Will is the future. And my patrons will also get the charts for the um, the text blocks. Um, and of course, you can swap out the words. Um, women are the future or, you know, whatever you want. Um, matriarchy is the future. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to promote matriarchy over patriarchy. I think just, you know... <laughs> anyway, uh, but now I want to do a sheep panel because obviously, uh, and I've never knit uh, a sheep before, so it's really uh, in uh, it's really fun uh, because you know obviously I've been wanting to knit those bobble hats for years. I mean I'm sure you've seen them, those color work hats with little sheep all around and it's super cute and adorable um so yeah but uh i haven't i haven't done that just yet so i am going to be knitting this sweater it is september 30th so i have 23 days more or less <sighs> to finish this sweater. I think I can do it actually. I think I can. Is that, is that crazy? Um, because I've knit almost the front panel, like half of the front panel in just 24 hours, I think I can do it. I'm starting the fun part now. <laughs> oh, that's looking really cute. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I'm just really excited about uh, Dutch Design Week uh, because it's going to be about, you know, circular design and, you know, innovation. And I will definitely be filming a vlog and I, yeah, I kind of want to film a vlog in Dutch and also in English. So I'll have something for both channels. I know that is very ambitious for me. But I thought, let's see if I can do it. Um, who knows? I might just um, 
I might just record in English and then do subtitles for the Dutch channel, I don't know. But I also know that subtitles, I've done that before and it's pain in the, you know, so, um, yeah. <laughs> so I am starting my sheep panel and I am thoroughly enjoying myself. Um, and I'm trying not to think about all of the other projects that I still have. Um, I'm trying to finish as much works in progress as I can. I mean, that's always my goal, even though it doesn't seem like that because I have like 21 whips or something. Um, probably more like 18, but still, you know, 18 whips, wow. Um, um, and recently, <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> I'm thinking ahead too much. Uh, and recently I thought, okay, I'm just going to tackle them one by one. So I picked up the one that I was least excited about and finished that. And then I picked up the one that I was not least excited about after that, but the one that I wanted to finish because it was, um, it's, it's going to be seasonally appropriate soon. Um, and I want to finish that. So I've been really good at working at those one at a time until yesterday when I got this crazy idea. Uh, so I finished a pair of knee-high socks and I will put a picture in right here. Uh, I finished a pair of knee-high socks and they are with Anel yarn. A-N-N-E-L-L. -L, um, which I got uh, in, a yarn in a yarn store in Belgium. Um, and it was really nostalgic actually to work with this yarn because um, um, when, you know, when I first started out, um, with knitting, I was knitting with this yarn a lot. So it was a lot of fun to, to work with that yarn again. And I've been also been wearing them a lot because they are amazing to wear. Uh, I've only knit one pair of knee highs before and I really love those. I mean, no, I've knit two pairs of knee-highs before. Uh, but I just really love to wear knee-high socks underneath jeans because they are so warm. And I am perpetually cold. So, yeah, it's just a great choice for me. And after that, after finishing those, um, yeah, they have been on the needle since, like, March or April. Uh, after finishing those, I went on to work on my skirt. So yes, I am knitting a skirt. I haven't shared it uh, before yet because I am not keeping notes. I'm not, well, I am sort of keeping notes, but I'm not writing a pattern for it. And I don't really want any pressure for writing a pattern for it. Uh, it's basically just going to be a stockinette tube. So it would not be much of a pattern, but who knows, I might be persuaded in the future. But I just did not want the extra pr pressure. So, uh, but it's, um, it's going to be really nice. Uh, it does fit really well. So I am excited to knit more on that and to finish it. So I hope I will be able to finish that soon as well. It would actually go really well with this sweater. But who knows? <laughs> Finishing a sweater in three weeks is pressure enough. Um, and yeah, <laughs> finishing a sweater and a skirt, that might be a bridge too far. Um, <laughs> I'm really liking this so far. Right, and uh, I might also be at some other events. So obviously I have my workshops. Next week I have three workshops. One in Maasbracht at Wall of Fame. One in Deinze at um, Atelier 9 a And one in Ghent at Nitkat. And I, I love my workshops. Um, um, they're mostly 
basic um, basic skills. Um, I'm teaching you know the basics of lace knitting, the basics of sock knitting, um, the basics of circular knitting. Um, those have been really interesting because a lot of people here are still used to knitting on straight needles uh, or knitting on DPNs if they're knitting in the round. Um, so it has been really uh, fun actually to introduce people to knitting on uh, circulars and also, you know, knitting on, knitting uh, with magic loop technique. Oh, I love it when I get like a thick bit in the yarn. And here I have a really thin stitch where, I, where I'm working that into. Oh, should I work with pearls on the front? I think I might. So that means knits on the back. Yeah, that might be fun. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the sheep and garter stitch. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so three workshops next week, so it's going to be very heavy, and next week on Monday I am meeting up with Charlie from Charlingual, who has a Dutch uh, knitting channel here as well, it's really fun. Um, I'm meeting up with her for coffee, and uh, afterwards I have booked a knitting machine in Maastricht uh, at Strix, where I uh, followed a uh, design course this summer. Um, and I'm really excited because I have uh, something in mind to knit on the machine that will help me zoom through my stash. And I'm really excited about that. I want to get some of this stash out of my life. Um, <laughs> and onto the couch in the form of a blanket. So it's going to be very exciting. Um, I, I have knit with the machine before uh, during that design course and I was just blown away. Um, yeah, but before I get a machine of my own, I thought I would just book their machine for a day and work through some of my stash. Uh, yeah, so next week's gonna be a really full week and then on October 14th, and 15th, there is going to be a Dutch knitting festival called the Breidage, which means the knitting days. Um, and it's in Zwolle, which is about three hours away from me by car. But I think if I'm going, then I'm going to go with public transport because, you know, gasoline prices are still through the roof, even if I get gas in Belgium. In Belgium it is way cheaper right now, so um, so I do try to make a detour through Belgium each time I need to go in a long drive. But um, yeah, I'm still thinking of going. Uh, I think if I would go, I would probably go on Friday because um, public transport on the weekend is just like <laughs> hell. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's just, you know, public transport, um, you can get kind of like discount tickets here and in the weekend they're valid for the entire day, but on a weekday, so what would, what would mean on the Friday, it's only valid for between 9 a.m. and or before 6 a.m. and then after 9 a.m. and before 4 p.m. and then after 6 30 p.m. or or after 7 p.m. or something so um so uh, they're not valid in the like prime time moments so it's just a difficult decision because those prime time moments are the moments that I want to be traveling. So, <laughs> do I then go by car? It's just always a, uh, a gamble. Um, so I might be going. I might be going to the Breidage, uh, but I'm not sure yet. And then the week afterwards, on the Monday, I'll be going to Dutch Design Week. Uh, so that's very very exciting and. 
yeah and also for the rest of here i'll be teaching lots of workshops i have at least one every week uh but in most weeks i have two and uh for an introvert <laughs> as myself it's uh that's already like quite a lot and then with with all of those knitting fairs it's just i don't know i don't know <laughs> but i'll uh, i'll do my best to um, record videos about it and yes i will be showing you the final result obviously of the sweater uh, but if you want to know how i'm actually knitting this then uh, you'll need to go to my patreon page where then you'll also be able to unlock loads of other stuff. I have a sweater knitting uh, course there, uh, which is for a regular sweater. Well, it's not regular. It's like my, my stripy rainbow sweater um, uh, with color work. So it's still very much over the top, but that's where you will learn kind of the top down construction with uh, short rows in the back, how to split for the sleeves, uh, everything like that. I have more sock tutorials on there. I have my color work master classes on there um, and I'm planning loads more content. So, if you haven't joined yet, definitely have a look. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, uh, do have, you know, have a look if you're subscribed. And if you like my videos, then please do subscribe because I would love that very, very much. Um, yeah, and I hope you like this video because it is way more rambly and talky uh, than I usually do. But um, I kind of feel like it's a good palette cleanser for me to get back into filming because it is quite a, um, a hurdle each time. So, um, yes, so I needed this. Uh, and if you're here, I'm just happy that you're here and knitting with me. Uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.